Hello everyone and welcome back to some more 102. Um, decided to do an extra part because um, I went to look up to see how much gameplay I had left and yeah I found out that um, I'm extremely close to the end because yeah um, I probably have at least 10 more minutes of gameplay left and like I'm at the end of the game so I could have actually played on it for like a little bit more so but yeah, I do know where to put the gemstone now. Don't know why I didn't try it, but um, I had to go back down to the basement because um, the elevator we need to get into before, that's where we need to put the gemstone. And not think to try that before. So we are going to head down that way. It's been a very long walk. Just up here. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think to try before. <laughs> I'm just trying to think if I actually check the check the button. Okay, yeah, it says small slot, so I thought like kick, like some sort of kick card or something, and I didn't exactly want to read that again. I didn't think like put like a gemstone in. It. See, so gemstone into the slot. I think I've got it all open. Okay, we found a oh, yes. one of those ones. Um, we didn't even find number three. First five. We all born alike, which we more of it than we are, we can use. Yet we grow older. We become poorer, and forever it is lost. We will achieve the ultimate treasure. Okay. Here, which, read, which controls the elevator on the screen, it reads: Room start access now with warning. Power supply is low, and if the elevator is used, it would not be usable for a few hours. Oh, well, that's not going to be a good because <laughs> probably we're going to get fucking trapped up there with like some evil monster. Okay, let's use it. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Oh god, we're gonna be chatting in an over the monster, aren't we? Oh no, that was just the elevator going up, okay. <laughs> we're off at the destination. I think, oh god, we're gonna be trapped in a freaking elevator. The freaking monster. Okay. What have we got? I mean, actually forgot to turn down the sound a little bit because it is quite loud. Pillars, a throne, which we can't sit on. Go around into the middle. There's something shiny there. And we can put a tonic. Okay, we'll just go this way first. My nose is itchy. Oh, God. Okay, okay, all good. Okay, we've got a statue of an otherworldly figure. And the inscription reads, Here I hold the ultimate treasure. If thou answer me correctly, solve the riddle that's God in tomb. Thou shalt take it from thy own. If not, thy life comes mine. The asset of... Um... Epitaph, or whatever that is, lined up along below it. I can push them in and out. I shall leave that for now until I actually figure out what to do because I do not want to die. It'll go the other way. See it was that way. I keep on not being able to see holes. It's not really hard to see. But there's a thing above there. Apparently I can't read it. Okay, what does this lead to? Oh, hello. Welcome here, human. I've been waiting here for you. Welcome to my home. Welcome to the mansion. Ah, this must be Thomas Mairstone. Thought he would have been long dead. <laughs> who? What are you? Are you the one who built this place? I built this mansion, yes. But not these ruins. They were built long ago by beings not of this world. 
My name is Thomas Mastain. Yeah, I gather as much. And I was this mansion's first owner and first victim. The only one who started all this man madness. Well, what has happened here? I built the mansion long ago to study these ruins, which were built to serve as a high place for a group of alien creatures, which came to our place in, in the ancient times. The people of that time knew that knew them as the Shadow People, and revered them, for it was thought that that they were here on Earth as survivors of some celestial war. I cannot read at all. <laughs> uh, they were wrong. The Shadow People were sent here not because of a war, but to start one. These ruins were to be the place they would be sealed until the time came when they would could re-emerge. When they received a signal from their home beyond the stars to begin claiming this world for their own. Claiming this world for their own is that why they have claiming this world for their own is that why they have laid a curse on this area and killed so many. They hold an immense power, but the further away they are from their home world, the weaker the power becomes. First they could only control this house, but as they killed their power grew stronger and their influence reached our world. Now this whole reign is a source of strange phenomenon caused by their power, and they will go on killing more and more until they reach engulf the entire world. That's why they lure people into the house. That's why so many people have disappeared. Yes. Anyone who falls into their past soon becomes by another one of their puppets. Under their complete control, I'm no different. You? But you're alive. What do you mean? I was the first one touched by their power. In a sense, I am the source of their power. Since that fateful night long ago, I have been doomed to remain down here as a vessel used to channel and control the energy. Oh, it's those doggies again. What was that? Ah, oh, we didn't meet them before. Part of the process I perform is creating a new vessel for their power to take over. I'm sorry, but it looks like you won't be staying to chat. What? Hey, wait a minute. How can you... Oh, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I uh, did not expect that to happen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot control my own actions anymore. I am but their slave now. It will never end. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Uh, I should not have trapped myself in this corner. Uh, I think I may have just screwed myself over. I just need to keep on dealing damage. Just hope to god that I don't freaking die. Uh, at least I'm dodging the attacks. I don't know how strength. Oh, I can actually. Okay, so. Do that and continue dealing some damage. Um, oh, I shall apparently do that one. Okay, I want to. Ooh, I've only got one mid kit left. Do I want anything else that can heal me? Don't think so. Yeah, that's not going to be good. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to attack the. I'll kill him soon. Okay, Twink's there, and yeah. Okay, so I'll just continue striking hard. Ah, there we go, awesome. Hope I wouldn't die. I don't have any mid kits left. Yay, I killed him. Oh, and stuff look normal almost. And I'm back at the house. I never got to see what was in that tapestry thing. I never got to solve it. Okay. Morning has come. I saw it. Is it really over?
but stuff like looks normal. <laughs> the air is calm. The house is no longer dangerous. No, it's not over yet. The people of this house, those who it's taken, there's still something they want me to do. Common statistics. Kind of place. Sarah, um, <laughs> two hours are playing about. Was that two hours or is it. I don't know. Um, 16 saves. Used six A kits and no special items. She just sits at that desk every day, scribbling on paper. What is it? Her condition. Ah oh, yes, Sarah Wickens. You'll probably know that name. A while back she was quite well known. As Sarah Wickens, the horror writer, I already know her in, in the paper about her admission here before my transfer. Yes, she caused quite a stir when she vanished from her hometown and ended up in Black River. Of course, when they found her, she was already in a catatonic state. Something must have happened to her. Oh yeah, we kind of went through hell in that house. A traumatic experience, you think? Must have been pretty horrifying to leave her in such a condition. Nobody knew what she was up to when she left. She was found in the grounds of an old mansion. Apparently she had tried to light the house on fire. For whatever reason, but couldn't bring herself to do it. Shame. Her life was almost perfect in every way. She had money and lots of fans. I feel sad to see someone lose everything like this. Oh, that's kind of sad. <laughs> and that's the end of One Night Two. <laughs> oh, that was, was definitely better than the first one. Definitely. It's like the um, finding mechanics were a lot easier because I wasn't having to like worry about like because I was actually had the chance to actually fight for myself instead of like I was only had like in the first game I only had like a couple of uses of the um, weapons and then I'd probably end up dying and um was it oh yeah saves were a lot easier as well yeah <laughs> like, like they were all throughout the house there were like more save points than that that I can use so like the this one is like, <laughs> like, like, pretty much one in every building. <laughs> it was like, yeah. Uh, I just found this one a lot better than the first. I can't wait to play the third one. So I'm hoping that will have like, the same mechanics of the second game. Because, yeah, it's definitely a lot better. And I know there are actual um, other endings to, the, um, to this one. I'm not entirely sure how to do them. So what? It would be the thing that we saw at the end that I need to solve. That may have done something. And it's probably of course the guy. Probably different endings for that one but yeah, I probably won't go through them. Yeah, I don't know entirely how to get to them so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this game. I definitely enjoyed playing this one. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time.